And in Minnesota, some communities have been caught by surprise by a massive radioactive leak from a nuclear plant that they are just now hearing about, even though it was first detected months ago. We are talking 400,000 gallons of contaminated water. And it happened at this plant because of a broken pipe. Now, that leak was found in November of last year, but the public is only finding out about it now. The nuclear plant is owned by the company called Excel Energy, and both the company and the state are working to try to clean up the contaminated water. Now, the water is said to contain radioactive tritium, which is a form of hydrogen and can occur in water naturally at extremely small amounts. But per EPA regulations, 20,000 units of tritium can be in drinking water per liter. But the water right now at the plant uh, is in the millions. And here's a look at the location of this plant. It's very important. It is in uh, Monticello, Minnesota, right there along the Mississippi River. Excel and the state say they are actively working to contain this leak to that plant property, while state officials say the leak did not contaminate the Mississippi River or drinking water sources and people are safe. Uh, but we want to bring in NBC News correspondent Maggie Vespa to break it all down for us. Maggie, uh, bring us up to speed here. The fact that this leak happened in November of last year and people are just finding out about it right now seems, seems Seems pretty alarming. What do we know about the nature of this leak? Yeah, it's so jarring for people in that area, Gotti, as you know. So we'll just start with kind of when specifically, since that's a huge part of this headline. This was discovered, uh, Excel says, on November 22nd. So think back, that's a couple days before Thanksgiving. And the company says it immediately took what they called <laughs> swift action to contain this contaminated water to the plant site, which again is in Monticello, Minnesota. That's just northwest, about 40 minutes northwest of Minneapolis. They also say they told the state immediately that day, the state of Minnesota confirming that they got notification. They say in late November, and both the state and the company, all the agencies involved say at this point, there is no evidence to show that drinking water in that area has been contaminated. But, Gotti, I got to be real with you. Also, no one is saying why the public wasn't notified as soon as this was discovered, which, again, as you said, is a key question because this is so alarming for people to hear about now. Gotti. And Maggie, we know that the, the leak has been stopped, or that's what they're saying, and authorities are telling people not to worry because there is no danger. Uh, but the cleanup is still happening, right? How contaminated are we talking? Uh, we were just showing that video from the helicopter there. You can see that the plant is very big. The town of Monticello seems to be a, a little ways off, but the, the plant seems to be right there on the river. Right, right. Well, basically, what they've told us is that, at least, at least to a layman, this seems like a painstakingly slow process. Again, we talked about 400,000 gallons of this severely contaminated water. Excel says it has been, I want to get their quote right, pumping, storing, treating, and reusing the contaminated water while monitoring nearby wells to make sure this isn't leaking into drinking water. But they point this out, and this is important. They say we're covering all of this tritium that leaked, again, and again, 400,000 plus gallons of water, recovering all of that will take about the next year. Gotti. Wow. And uh, one more question. The, the plant, I know, is pretty old. It was built in the, the 1970s, 1971. Is that a concern yeah. here? You know, it's something that's been mentioned. The company has yet to say whether it's a concern. The state has yet to nail that down as well. But basically what it means, if nothing else, is that Excel Energy has spent uh, reportedly tens of millions of dollars updating the infrastructure of this plant, updating its testing systems, including installing what they called a new groundwater monitoring program, an advanced program in 2007 that they say was part of an updated requirement at the time. Again, whether that has anything to do really concretely with this broken pipe, meaning whether the age of the plant and all the updates that have been needed over time, whether that has anything to do with or caused this leak, that question also at this point yet to be answered. Gotti, but we'll stay on it. Wow. And just to recap, a radioactive cleanup that could take a year. Maggie, thanks so much. Sure. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.